Hey everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is doing a timing belt on a small engine. It doesn't matter if you're doing a timing belt on a vehicle or a small engine. The principles behind on how you align your pulleys before you put your new belt on is all the same. So on my Honda generator, I got most of it exposed here because I'm refurbishing it and cleaning it up and bringing her back up to par. But in order to change the timing belt, we got to remove this plastic cover. All right, so I got the cover pulled off and you can see the camshaft sprocket right there. It's got some timing marks on it and your flywheel's right here. It's kind of rusty. We're going to clean that up. But before we pull the flywheel off, we need to pull the coil off and then the span and then the center bolt because that's all on a tapered shaft. Then we'll pull that off. Holy shit. Started trying to crack them open with one hand there, but I'll pull this coil off now. I just took the coil off, flipped her up on the side, gonna remove the fan now. Oh yeah! I don't know if you can see, but where that arrow is is one of the timing marks. And now I'm gonna pull the bolt off the flywheel and see if I got a puller that'll pull that off without fucking wreaking any damage. Sprayed some PB Blaster on that nut and she just frickin' came right off. Well, that's the puller I'm going to use right there, but those bolts are too big. I need to find one this size. Metric, of course, so... Fuck! Always one thing after another. Oh yeah, that came off real easy. Way easier than I thought. Beautiful. Alright, we got a few more things to take off. I think that's your exciter coil. And remove that, and then remove that guard, and that should give us access to the pulley. Wonder how tight those are. Oh yeah, they're tight. All right, now that I took the plugs out, it got a little easier to spin the engine over. There's two sets of timing marks. There's one right there, and there's one set right there. However, only one set actually lines up with the arrows. Is the one that's marked with a blue dot. Alright, so now we're ready to take the belt off. And according to the service manual, there is three bolts for the water pump. And we loosen them off, and we can be able to slide it around. I just tap the water pump over with a rubber mallet. And now hopefully, I can just slide this belt off. There we go. I got the new belt on, it was kind of a pain in the ass, I didn't really film it, but I need to put some pressure on it now to tighten up the belt. I'm going to use a pry bar in there like that and tighten up one of the bolts and check how much play we got behind. See if it matches what we need in there and then we're all good. Alright, did that, spun it around once, timing marks are still aligned, and then I checked the tension again, looks pretty good. Now we're just going to reassemble everything, and then fuck, we're done. I have my feeler gauge on one side, and I tightened it down to 0.4, and I'm going to do the opposite side, and then we'll be set. So I got set up there, 0.4, just this side, 0.4 should go in pretty tight, but still go in, and the air gap is set properly. Alright, I'm going to leave my video at that on changing the timing belt on a small engine. I almost screwed up. I, I was putting the outside cover on and I realized I had three extra bolts. I didn't have the fan on so I had to take it apart. So that's kind of a rookie move. Make sure you have everything reassembled before you decide to fire it up. Make sure it turns over freely, all that crap. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my beer. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.